Alaba. Welcome to the National News of Myanmar International. I'm Mazin. The fifth conference of Myanmar Writers and Journalists Association commenced at the Union of Myanmar Federation of Chamber of Commerce and Industries headquarters in Yangon on the 16th of May. Speaking on the occasion, Minister for Information Ujo San said that Myanmar Writers and Journalists Association, in collaboration with World Intellectual Property Organization, has successfully held the workshop on the role of literary copyright. Now, the association has made somewhat progress in drafting the intellectual property right law. Besides, as part of bridging ties with the inter International Press Society, the association has exchanged mutual visits with the press delegates from ASEAN member countries, the People's Republic of China, India, and the Republic of Korea. In an attempt to penetrate the world literary market, it is essential to translate the first class Myanmar books into English. The government on its part is also making arrangements regarding application of International Standard Book Number, ISBN. As a result, International ISBN Agency has acknowledged Myanmar as its member on the 8th of October 2009. Now the association is on the road to submitting necessary documents and subscribing annual membership fees to the agency. The minister gave such suggestions to conduct translation workshops and training courses for nurturing young and efficient translators. He also highlighted the importance of opening journalism courses, which will contribute towards further advancement of the role of journalism in the country. In his conclusion, the minister praised the association for standing as a well-organized and capable organization in the long run, while trying to be good members of the media who always put the interests of the nation and its people in the fore. He said, they take the role of the fourth estate of the country and are responsible to disseminate knowledge among the people to acquire proper insight. He also urged them to actively participate in the working process of the Rural Library Foundation, which is an important source for fostering qualified human resources who will build the modern, developed and disciplined, flourishing democratic new nation. Last but not least, the minister advised them to try their best to succeed at the upcoming elections through unity and efficiency. On Monday, the minister attended the second day session of the conference which elected the new Central Executive Committee members for the fifth term of the association. Groups that have been granted to form political parties are submitting their application for registration to the Union Election Commission. Kami National Progressive Party submitted its application on the 17th of May. So far, 28 out of 33 political parties were permitted for their applications. Among those already approved political parties, the United Democratic Party applied its ap registration to the UEC on that day. Up to date, there are altogether 38 parties that submitted applications for formation and continued existence as political parties. Of the 17 that submitted their registrations, five parties have been permitted to register as the political parties and the remaining parties are still being scrutinized. Well, that's all for now. I'll be back later with more news.